In this video, I want to show you some of the finer points in Storyboard that maybe you haven't used yet. Uh, there's a lot of features that this program has, and some of them can help you stay more organized or speed things up for you. On a smaller project, you might be able to get away with being less organized and not planning ahead as much, but when you're working with an app that has several screens and has a lot of features built into it, um, it's, it's best to know all of the little tools that you can use that will just improve your workflow. So hopefully you'll take something away from this video. So uh, let's get started. The wireframe view and the control outline view. Uh, these are both great features to help you see how your app is put together. Wireframe is pretty self-explanatory. Just give that a click and it will show you everything sort of in its box. Each control just kind of outline a very simple view. The advantage of this is when you're looking at things in its sort of finished state, you don't really know how they're put together. You know, is that house and humidity plus the temperature all one control? Is it two controls? Is it three? Because you can do things so many different ways. Just give it a click, a quick click, and um, you can see how it's broken apart. They are their own individual controls. It'll also let you know which is in front of the other in terms of uh, layer order. Just you can see the overlap here that this is on top of that, which is on top of the guy behind. So, yeah, you just come into that view by clicking on and off. Another thing that it does is it show you, it shows you objects that you can't see. There's this control over here and its visibility has been turned off. So I'll just give that a click here on the little eye, eyeball icon. So it doesn't look like it belongs there, but that's how the wireframe feature works. Another is the control outline. So if you give that a click, it will show you the outline of each control. This way you can sort of see how it's supposed to look in addition to knowing what its boundaries are. Um, there might be the odd time that you turn that feature on, and the control outline might be very similar to whatever color is in the background. If it was a red background, you wouldn't be able to see this very well. So if you ever wanted to change that, if you're having a hard time seeing it, just go to Crank Storyboard and the Preference menu here. And um, under Storyboard, the last item is Wireframe Colors. So Control Outline, you can change that to be any color you want really uh, shows up fine, so I'll, I'll leave it the way that it is. So that is control outline and wireframe features, and it'll just give you a better understanding of where things are placed within your application. The all layer view. This is a really great feature for looking at something a lot closer maybe you're on a pretty busy screen within the application and you just want to look at one particular layer. A lot of times there can be a lot of objects on a screen and maybe they're distracting or getting in the way, uh, overlapping, and you just want to see one particular thing. What you can do is just go edit and go to all layers. And this is each layer uh, broken apart. It's in an isolated view, so you can work freely within that layer, make any changes that you want, and you don't have to worry about accidentally making a change to another screen. Also, it's pretty handy to sort of help you visualize. Maybe you're seeing something that you weren't expecting to see um, in the regular view. You can go into your individual layer view here, the all layers view, and sort of see what what is in that spot that's sticking out awkwardly if you have something turned on that you didn't think was visible or anything like that. So it's it's a handy view. Um, if you make any changes, here's this guy. You don't really need it. It's not doing anything. Um, you just delete it and here you get this little asterisk up here. That lets you know that you've made a change. So when you hit close. It'll ask you if you want to save your changes. Say yes. And when you're in your regular view, you can see that that 
that change has been saved and been applied to your application. So that is how that feature works. It's a real good one, especially when your project starts getting bigger and maybe a little bit more involved. Um, I definitely recommend it. The copy path feature is a feature that I use a lot. Anytime that you're in Lua uh, writing a script or editing a script, it's extremely handy. Um, I've got a script here. We can just edit that function uh, to call it up. And, and here we've got this particular variable uh, width. Now to copy the path, it's thermostat layer on the info control. Um, that's where the variable is. That's a lot to type out. If you have a coding background, maybe you're really good at remembering these sorts of things. But me, uh, all I do is I click my object and I see which control has the variable that I want. And I just go to it, do edit, copy path. And in the function, all I have to do is just paste. And I don't have to worry about spelling. Uh, the path's been copied and it's being cited properly. So for a designer like me, I think it's a great feature uh, if you're all code all the time, maybe you don't need it, but if you haven't tried it out, maybe it'll save you some time and you'll find it useful. The template feature will help you save a lot of time if you use it to your advantage. Um, it could be that you have a page that has the same element multiple times. Instead of making a new one every time, you could just make a template and start populating your screen with them. Uh, here I've got a little sliding toggle button. If you had a control panel where you needed to switch things on and off or a settings screen, this would be an ideal situation to use it. So if you right click it and go to the templates tab there, create new template. Um, all you have to do is give it a name, uh, call it toggle and uh, sliding on and off toggle. And in your projects workspace folder, there's a little template folder, and you get this little template file that gets saved there. So um, in the templates view, it gets called up. And it looks like someone's already made one. Yeah. Um, but here, all you have to do, that's the template we just made, is um, grab onto it and drag it out onto the screen. And there you have it. Also, you can do the same thing with images, you can drag them out onto the screen and, and put them in place if, if you want. So handy, uh, handy little features, but uh, I'll just see if they work. We'll right click simulate, save, sure. And here they are. So yep, off and on. So good to know. That is the template feature. Uh, it can save you a lot of time. If you've been working on a project for a while and maybe it's had a few sets of revisions, you had old images and maybe updated them with new images, your image directory may have become filled up with stuff that you're not using anymore. Um, and that's where the feature for image resource cleanup is really handy. This guy right here, just give it a click. And Storyboard will just do a quick comb through your your little application and see what it is that's not being used at any point. So what you can do is just continue. It's going to get rid of them. It's saying you're not using any of these fonts either. And you just go through with it. Now, this dialog box is important. It lets you know that this is a permanent action. Um, you are going to get rid of these images. So if you wanted to back them up or use them for another project, make sure you have saved them first, but if you want to clean up a little application and you're good to go. So delete files and you had like 219 images and it's getting rid of everything that you didn't need and now you're down to 92 images. So it's good. It really tidies things up and um, yeah, then if you're looking around for a particular image, you don't need to go through as much stuff. It just keeps things more clean and organized. Uh, another feature that's very handy is the duplicate image consolidation. Um, if you call this up, 
what Storyboard will do is it'll look for any images that are exactly the same pixel for pixel. Uh, the plus down image and the plus down one image are the exact same. You don't need to use multiple images to use throughout the application. You can just have one image and use it multiple times being referenced. So this is saying all these guys look the same. Do you want to get rid of the, the doubles? And you just click OK. And that just got rid of 10 images that you didn't really need. So I recommend using that as soon as you bring in your images, just so that you're using the same ones uh, all the time, uh, rather than using it later in the project. But that's those two features. Uh, we've gotten rid of you know over 100 images that'll help clean things up, especially on a bigger application that you've been working on for a while. It just helps keep things organized and stay in good shape. So those are some of the key features that will really help move your projects along in Storyboard. It's a large program, uh, and the more features you know how to take advantage of, the better off you'll be. So hopefully you've gotten something out of this video, and thanks a lot for watching.